Hello, St. David's family. It's Father Joshua here in a new setting, in a new studio. First, I want to start this video like I will all the videos from now on. Peace be with you. Um, as you can see, I'm in a new place uh, for my own sanity and to help out my family and my sister with my nephew as uh, we're all kind of moving into quarantine and moving inside. I've come to Ohio to spend some time here. I even brought Hildegard the cat with me. So in future videos, I may have a new acolyte, little Lucas, or as it was said earlier today, Lucas for lit. So uh, be expecting that. I just wanted to come to you today and give a bit of an update. Uh, we don't have any official news yet on Holy Week and Easter, although determining from the uh, presiding bishop's message to us recently, um, and the government's uh, stance and how the CDC is going, it doesn't look like we'll be all together uh, in our normal way for Holy Week, but uh, I want to assure you that uh, I and the other clergy are working to find ways to bring us all back together uh, in the best way that we can. Uh, Deacon Clay is currently working on a way that we can do Zoom conferencing so multiple of us can uh, be on the video at the same time. And it may be a way that in the future we can start up our Sunday school classes again and you can join in and we can actually converse online and, and have a, a live discussion on the women of the Bible and continue that. So this is how things are going to go this weekend. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. on our Facebook live stream, uh, we'll do like we did last week, and I will come to you this week with morning prayer. And Pastor Terry uh, is going to preach our sermon this week because we're not quite set up on Zoom conferencing to do everybody. Uh, she is going to record her sermon, and I will share that separately so that people from St. John's and St. David's can share this um, with each other. Now, in the link to this video, you will also find, uh, or in the description to this video, you will find a link for the new page set on Facebook by our diocese, which is the Diocese of Northern Indiana uh, Diocesan Virtual Worship page. Now, each day, a different member of the clergy in our diocese is offering um, one part of the daily office. So somebody is offering morning prayer, noonday prayer, uh, evening prayer and Compline on Monday through Saturday and then Sunday we are all doing our regular worship with our communities in this new way of doing it. I've been tasked with doing evening prayer every Monday so I invite you to tune in about 510 on Monday evening. We'll uh, gather together for evening prayer uh, through video and um, in one way that we can we can be together. Also, in the next coming week, uh, I invite you to stop by the church if you are out getting groceries or something like that, and if you have a key, or contact uh, Cynthia or Father Henry or Anita, and they'll be able to let you in. Uh, but there's some things I'd like you to pick up if you are willing. You know that over the last year, we have collected seeds in a big jar uh, for our Unity Garden. Well, the time is coming to get those seeds started, and this is something that we can do together. So in the next week, I will be uh, sending out another video, which is a tutorial, that you can take old milk jugs, and I've got a few here, so we'll have, by the magic of television, to do one that's already made and one that we're working on together, but turning them into indoor recycled greenhouses. Just cut them in half, fill them with a little bit of soil and plant the seeds and stick them in a window in your house. And then in a few weeks when the time comes and we are able to slowly come back together and the time is right to plant our unity garden, we will transplant those things that we've had all around and uh, put them out to continue that ministry this summer. Um, that's something that does not interfere with uh, this spread of germs where people can go and get fresh vegetables, which will be very much needed, I'm sure. So that'll be coming out in the next week or so. Uh, to that end, I hope you all are well. I'll be calling around and just checking in on you. And uh, please do not hesitate to reach out, send me a text, shoot me an email. Uh, if you have prayer requests, you can send them to me or to Deacon Clay, and we will continue 
to pray together and worship together, even though we are not physically together. I love you. I miss you all. God bless. Peace be with you.